we will formulate Bragg's law in reciprocal space. This is a vector form. You can also call it vector form. of Bragg's law. We are familiar with it as a standard form lambda is equal to 2d sine theta. This is a scalar form and this is in real space. Let us put the subscript L on D. So this is interpreted as you have real space planes let us call them the hkl planes and you have an incoming wave of wavelength lambda and you have an outgoing wave again of the same wavelength and as per Bragg's law, they make equal angle with the plane. So both of these angles are theta, the incident angle and the angle of the diffracted wave. So let us call this an incident wave. Let us call this the reflected wave. And then since this is not a normal reflection, but actually a result of diffraction, so a diffraction condition has to be satisfied so theta is restricted to values which will satisfy lambda is equal to 2d hkl sin theta where d hkl is the interplanar spacing now to couch this law in the vector form or in the reciprocal space all we need to do is to introduce a vector incoming wave vector and let us call that let us call that ki and the wave vector is a vector of uh, length The length of the wave vector is reciprocal of the wavelength 1 by lambda and the direction is the direction of the incoming wave. Similarly, you have the reflected wave. You have the reflected wave vector. Let us call that Kr. And of course, since in Bragg's law, we are considering elastic scattering. The two wavelengths are equal. So the length of these two wave vectors are also equal. So Kr also is equal to 1 by lambda. Mod of Kr is also equal to 1 by lambda. Now, to formulate this law, in reciprocal space, we need a quantity which is the difference or the scattering wave vector which we define as delta k. So delta k is nothing but the reflected wave vector minus the initial wave vector. Kr minus Ki. So to construct that, Let us uh, take a vector from here. I am geometrically constructing delta k. So I go parallel to ki but in the opposite direction. So this vector will be minus ki. So obviously, by the triangle law of vector addition, I get delta k vector as this vector. 
this will be my delta k kr minus ki now to complete the proof we require a construction which is very simple all i do let us label these points so let me call this a b c and from b i have drawn a line perpendicular to this hkl lines and let us call that point intersecting the delta k vector at the point d so now we have two triangles in triangle a b d and angle c b d let us see we have a b is equal to b c because both of them are equal to 1 by lambda because a b is length of k r and b c is length of minus k i and both of them have the length as we have seen equal to 1 by lambda so it's actually the triangle a b c is an isosceles triangle now because b d is parallel to the hkl plane we get these two angles also equal and equal to theta so angle a b d is equal to angle c b d and that's equal to theta a b d is equal to c b d so which is effectively saying that b d is angle bisector of the vertex angle a b c of an isosceles triangle so you know that such an angle bisector will also bisect the base ac into equal parts and will be perpendicular bd will be perpendicular to the base ac so this we can prove immediately by now requiring we have ab is equal to bc and we have this angle equal and bd is common so bd is common therefore triangle abd and triangle cbd are congruent which immediately gives us that ad is equal to cd and it also gives us that angle adb is equal to angle cdb and since the total angle is pi so both of these angles are pi by 2 or 90 degree so which means that ac is perpendicular to bd but ac is my delta k vector so the delta k vector and bd is parallel to the hkl plane so delta k is perpendicular to the hkl plane we get one interesting property the other interesting property i get from this ad is equal to cd so ac is equal to ad plus cd this is ad plus ad 
2 times AD. But if you look at it in the triangle, ABD, AD by AB is sine theta. I write here, we also have AD by AB is sine theta. AD AB sine theta. So I use that to two AB sine theta. But AC is delta K. So length of AC is mod of delta K. So delta K is equal to two AB sine theta. But AB is the length of KR so 2 mod AR sin theta the wave vector has length lambda lambda sin theta and now I use the Bragg's law for lambda so lambda is equal to 2d hkl sine theta these quantities cancel and I get a nice relationship that delta k mod is nothing but delta k hkl now look at these two properties delta k is perpendicular to the HKL plane and now we are saying that mod of delta K is HKL so property 1 hmm, property 2 but these two properties are exactly the property of reciprocal lattice vector G star HKL G star HKL is a vector in the reciprocal space H A1 star plus K A2 star plus L A3 star where A1 star A2 star and A3 star uh, reciprocal basis vectors and this G star HKL exactly has these two properties the G star HKL is perpendicular to HKL and G star HKL mod is equal to 1 by dhkl so comparing these properties with the properties of delta k we see that delta k is nothing but g star hkl delta k is nothing but g star hkl and this is the vector form of bragg's law in the reciprocal space now how just to conclude means we have already made the derivations just to conclude this let me reiterate this fact that we now have if we look at Bragg's law we have two equivalent formulation one is in the real space another is in the reciprocal space in the real space we have lambda is equal to 2 dhkl sine theta in the reciprocal space we have delta k is equal to g star hkl so happens the real space is formulated in terms of scalars the real space 
it is formulated in terms of vectors.